Okay, so now that we explore the basic of a to life, now it's time to write a song. So let's try to to, to write something you know um, interesting. So let's put a drum pattern. So I'm going to drag and drop the 808 core kit drum into my MIDI channel. Okay, and as the previous tutorial, I was saying that you can use the keyboard to play the synthesizer. You can do the same with the drum rack as well. So I can play the drums like this. Or another thing I can do is creating a clip by double clicking. It's creating a four bar loop. And the way you will see the drum here kick drum, rim shot, snare drum, hand clap. It's the basic of here. Bass drum, rim shot, stand drum, hand clap. It's basically from left to right, from bottom to up. So this is my kick drum. So if I want to listen to the kick drum, I just go here, I click the headphones device. And if I want to write a note, I just double click and I have four bass drums here so if i want to play this clip now i just go here on the beginning of the clip and i have my kick drum so now i want to put a clap here now i want to put if you want to write faster the midi notes you can go here with the mouse and you can click on the pen so the pen Basically, you don't need to do double click. You can just do it once. So now I am creating a drum pattern. If I go back now, you can see that all those cells are playing as I am entering the notes and I can solo the drum or I can mute the drum and the clap and then those things here we just not worry about them now so this is how to to, to write drums basically if you want to make a change in this drum, for example, you want the same pattern, but without the kick drum, what you can do, it's basically with the right click, copy, and here, just below, you do paste. So you have the same pattern as before, but let's say that in this one here, I don't want the kick drum. So I will go here with the pen and I will remove the clip, the kick drum. So now I'm playing the first one that has the kick. And I'm going to play the second one that doesn't have the kick drum. Let's make another one. Let's make copy and paste. So this is the, one, the copy of the second one. And I want to remove the clap as well here. So and if I want to come back, for me, in order to understand what I'm doing, I can just rename so, full drum, no kick, and here, no kick, and clap, so that I know what I'm doing. And you notice when, you, when, when I'm pressing playing, Ableton, it's never losing the sinking tempo. And that's because that was the originality on Able to Live when they built it in the in the um, at the end of the nineties, just to have this uh, in, interesting uh, loop based playing. Because you can see here, so this is the loop that is playing, and when it's going at the end, it's starting again. So when I press another pattern, and I'm here, so it's gonna wait until the end of the cycle. So let's see. Now I'm gonna play the first one. Now, and now it's going to wait. 
So this is the functionality of Ableton. This is how it works. You have to wait. Well, Ableton is waiting until the end of the cycle to play the next loop so that you will never lose uh, you know, the sensation of, of the rhythm going. So now that I have a drum, let's go back here. I want to add a melody. So I go to my instruments, I go to analog. Well, let's make a bass line. So I open analog and I open the preset of the bass and I just drag and drop a bass on another MIDI channel. So now I want to play this, the MIDI channel of the, the four MIDI channel, basic analog. I will remove the arm here and I will add it here so I can play the bass here. Okay, so I will just, you know, in, in here in the parameter, you can modify the sound. Okay. So I have two choices. I can either play the li live, the bass. So if I want to record this loop, eh? when I'm arming the track, you can see that these buttons are becoming uh, from quadrant round because they are ready to be recorded. Now, for example, now I can record something. See the notes here? Okay. And that's the clip that is being created. So if I want to record the bass that I was playing now with, the, with my hands, I can just do these things. So I'm gonna play. Okay, so I just play the loop and I try to be on time with it. And when I'm ready, I will press record before the cycle finish so that it's gonna start at the beginning. Okay. And it recorded a four bar loop. Now, as you can see, the loop is not sounding good. So what I can do now, I can just uh, zoom here so that I can see bigger, okay? And I can just modify, move the notes to make them sound, to make them in the right position. Okay, so this is nice, but I can do one thing. That is, which is called quantization. So quantization, Ableton has a quantization function that basically will lock in the grid the position of the notes. So I'm just gonna choose all the notes, right click, quantize. See? I'm just gonna undo what I've done and look at the notes, how they are going to be locked in the grid. So I have my baseline now. Okay. Let's say that I'm not so happy with the baseline. Let's say that it's nothing special. So. I can stop the, the clip to play in here. You can just stop it here. I can remove the arm and I want to add a MIDI effect. So I want to put an arpeggiator. So I just double click. It will add an arpeggiator before the synthesizer. Actually, I want to arm the track in one time. And So now it sounds more interesting. So let's play the track again press by pressing play. So always wait until the end of the cycle before you want to record. But now let's play something. Yeah, let's say that I like this loop. So I'm going to record it. So.
and stop. And he has recorded this loop, which is a bit nicer. So that I can remove my previous loop. Now, I want to add another sound. Let's insert MIDI track. So with the right click, you can either insert an audio track or a MIDI track. So I'm going to insert a MIDI track. I'm going to go to instruments and I'm going to piano and keys. Um, let's just drag and drop this one and see what happened. I'm going to remove the uh, arm here and add it there. Okay, so it's a okay sound for the <laughs> tutorial. Um, let's add the reverb, okay, because I want to make the sound a bit more interesting. So I just drag and drop the reverb from the audio effect. I'm going to make it sound a bit more spacey. So with the reverb now, uh, the main things of each effect is that each effect has a drive wet control. When it's dry, it means that there is no effect processed. When it's wet, it's full affected. So I'm gonna just put it right in the middle. Okay. So now it's like really spacey like a cathedral. Okay, kind of nice melody. But let's add a MIDI effect in this uh, composition, in, in my fifth channel. And I want to add a scale plugin. I will open the preset minor and let's let's put it on C minor. So now you can feel that there is a difference in melody because the bass is playing a, a different set of notes and the synthesizer is playing following uh, being, being adjusted by the scale plugin which is something that i want but now there is a conflict so what i can do now to make things interesting i can copy this sound this uh, sorry this uh, device and add it in here in the baseline now my bass line is playing in C minor scale, which means if I'm going to play the piano now, it will likely to be sounding okay. It's okay now, I'm happy with it. So I'm ready to record a, a, a jam. So play. When it's finishing, play. I want to finish the second loop of the bass. And press play again. And now I have my piano playing. And if I want to adjust the notes, I just Choose all of them, quantize settings, sorry, quantize. Okay. So now the song is coming out nicely and it's, uh, it's kind of cool. I'm not going to use audio this time because uh, I just want to, you know, lay down the song very nice and simple. I don't want to do anything particularly difficult. Um, now, I have my loops, my drums, my bass line, and my uh, synthesizer keyboard. And now I can play with the drum loop. And I have different variation. Let's 
let's say that I want to have a variation on the baseline. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy and paste here the same pattern of the baseline. Let's open it here. Let's make a, like a weird things. So let's put this one here and this one here. So I am modifying the notes to be sounding different. Let's play now the second one here. See, now this is the variation of the bass line. So I can make it different color. And also if I want, I can make different color the drum just to, you know, make sure that I have, the, the, I can visually can see how they are. So let's play with this same pattern. Make some variation. And now when it's gonna finish the bassline, I'm gonna play the second variation with the full drum. And I can stop the drum or even stop the keyboard and play another different variation of the keyboard. all them and quantize okay so now we have pretty much the song lie down you know like it's uh, there is more or less everything that we want from a song we could add more sound but for the sake of this tutorial I'm not gonna add more because uh, otherwise it's gonna be a bit overwhelming so what we want to do now it's to transfer this into this. 